Christmas Eve, beautiful. It's me, Arnell Marie. My mom called me and let's just say our conversation went on for the whole video. So I opted to do a voiceover because the footage is there. Okay, this is the face of the day. Well, by the end of the day, okay. I don't know, maybe I was gonna make that a TikTok. Clearly that didn't happen. And I'm going to start off with the there's this makeup removing soap. I shrug my shoulders because I know this don't work, but I refuse to waste and throw it away. So I keep trying to use it, but I know good and well it don't work. So here I am rubbing it in, rubbing it in, right? Rubbing it in. I go through and I rinse this off, beautiful. Hot mess, hot mess. You see, I even turned to y'all to show you how much of a hot mess it is. I don't know why I went in for a second try and put soap on. It, you know it's not gonna work. Look, I'm showing y'all and I'm, I'm upset about it because none of the makeup came off. All you see is a little bit of the mascara on my cheek, that's it. I mean, my under eye, I mean, that's it. So I scratched that idea of trying again. Look at that, all the foundation's still in place. And I just put it away because I can't bring myself to throw it away, even though it doesn't work, because it's like, that's such a waste, it's practically full. And clearly I forgot where I keep my Biore. Okay, here we go. Here's the tried and true. Yeah, this is it, that's, see, this is it. That's what that was, me telling y'all to go and get this. So I get two cotton pads and I, you know, wipe around my eyes and cheeks and stuff. It takes everything, it takes the whole day away, okay? It takes it all away. Now the problem comes in when I get to my eye area, okay? When we get to that second, uh, my second cotton swab, because what happens is it's still on there, like the, not it's still on there. Okay, let me start that over. What happens is it burns when it gets in your eye. And I put a good amount on my cotton swab to make sure I don't need to go back in to get no more. So it ends up getting in my eye and burning. And that's what happens here. Yep, that's that's exactly what happened. Right when I got to that, um, to the, <laughs> to the right eye beautiful, you see, ooh, ooh, it's burning, it's burning. Oh, 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 under the sink, under the sink, under the faucet, because it, it's burning. And that's what happens every time. You would think I'd learn my lesson, but I don't. It happens every time. So after that happens, I still try to go in a little bit with it, but eye sensitive now. I'm like, uh-uh, this ain't gonna work out. Like we did what we could, but as you can see, a good majority of the makeup is off. And that's why Biore is that product. Now I'm going in with the same cotton pad and trying to like just take up some of the excess makeup that stains my sink. Cause you know, my sink is white, it's porcelain and I want it to stay all shiny and white and pretty. So I always go in and kind of wipe it off because my makeup does always stain it a bit and we don't want nothing permanent. We want it to be white forever. Now I'm um, just patting my face dry a little bit, not much, just, just enough to where it's not dripping because my dermatologist told me not to air dry. So that's what that was. But this is only basically like the pre-wash. This is the get the majority of the makeup off your face so you can actually do your night routine, which is the point of this video if I didn't say that. <laughs> Why am I whispering? I don't know. I'm just wiping down the faucet because what is my reason? I'm a neat freak, I guess. I'm wiping it all down. I, I'm not just gonna leave it messy or leave puddles and stuff. Like, I don't know, I just do. Look at that beautiful face. I am so proud of where my skin has come because we were really going through it and I definitely dropped something, but we move on to the shower. And in here, I'm gonna finish what I couldn't at the sink. I'm using the makeup eraser to really go in and it's just water, it's just water in my makeup eraser to go in and really take off the day. Like we getting in there into the crevices, nothing's gonna burn or hurt cause this is water. I know it looks like I'm being rough, but I am being gentle. And now, okay, we got our face back. Mm -hmm, this is me. We got a little bit of a breakout on the chin, but it's that time of the month right now. So that's all that is. And I wanted to show you guys my body scrub. I got it on Amazon. I no longer use a rag, y'all. Who needs a rag when you have this? It works like a charm and it's way more sanitary because you know when your rag get dirty, it starts to stink. That is no longer a problem. You just rinse this clean every time. It foams up nicely as you can see. You'll never go back. You will never go back. I love it. I tell everybody about it. 
Mm-hmm. Look at that. Love it. Had to look back, make sure y'all was still watching, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. These two little pieces of baby hair in the front of my head always crack me up because they're too short to braid. <laughs> this is just me doing an aesthetic shot of the scrub. Show you guys how one side is real smooth with all the little bristles. Use that on your body. Feels real good. It's really soft. It's just like rubber. That's all it is. And then the other side is more pointy. Use that on the back of like your foot. Now we're gonna really get into our skincare. We're going in with the LRP, the foaming cleanser. Foams up really nicely on the face. And this is like our heavy duty after the makeup is gone. If I wasn't wearing makeup, we would have started here. Look at how nicely it just foams up. Did y'all know you're supposed to wash your lips? When my dermatologist told me that, mind was blown. I do it every time now, but that's why I put the, kept that in there. Just to remind myself to ask y'all, do y'all know you're supposed to wash your lips? So now I've put body oil already on like my torso and stuff, and all that's left is for me to do it on my arms. This is how I'm able to skip lotion because, you know, my skin is glistening. As you can see, we gonna get them arms and we just, we just moisturize, baby. The key is to make sure your skin is still damp, just not wet. I guess this is my attempt at B-roll before I go back to the sink. I don't know, cause I know good and well y'all have seen this sink. So I don't know, girl, beautiful, I don't know. Just go with it. Okay, turn on the faucet, Arnell. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. So now we're going to brush our teeth, but y'all don't want to see that. So we skip it over. We're going right to the pads. I use these stairs pads on my armpits, and I use them in my booty crack because Simone Nicole said that it works wonders. And I have noticed, I have noticed that my armpits when I'm going to bed, they do not smell. I don't even have to wear deodorant to bed. Now I'm going with the Epsole. It helps with the discoloration that I have in my jawline area. It's prescribed by my dermatologist, so you cannot get it over the counter. And I definitely see the difference. And I'm, I'm religious with it, y'all. We really trying to get this skin together. Then I go in with this acne treatment. This isn't prescribed, but my dermatologist had it like on the counter. So I bought it. She recommended I use it because obviously I was having problems with acne. Hello. Even though I'm out of high school, but adult acne is real. So that's me just rubbing that in. And you'll notice all my products, I show you how much I'm using. So you can see that I don't use a lot because we need it to last. Yep. Oh, cute girl. Go ahead, pose. I didn't get it all in. I see it right there on my chin, but that's all right. We're going to get it later. I opened the door because I started to get hot. This is a process, baby. Beauty is a process. So since it felt hot and it wasn't all the way dried down yet, I went in with my water pick to just pass by the time because I still have one more step left for my face. But yeah, let that product sink in, child. We're going to just do a little bit of flossing because I hate flossing. So the water pick has been a lifesaver because I'm horrible with flossing. It's just not working out. <laughs> All right, teeth are together. These little baby hairs, y'all, I need to stop paying attention to them. It's just so funny that they're so short. You can't grip them in a braid and they won't stay down with gel. So I have no choice but to let them just curl right there at the side of my head. Now I'm going to, um, well, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm still talking on the phone with my mother. Okay, now we're going into the last step. It's gonna be the LRP, look at that, I forgot to show y'all. The LRP uh, double moisturizer. This feels really good. I have to always make sure I only use a little bit because it feels like gel. I love it. Just rubbing that all in, in circular motions and upward motions, just, you know. Well, doing what we gotta do. Then I go in and I start taking pictures just to see my progress. And in this case, I need a thumbnail because y'all know we doing Vlogmas. So I need as many pictures for thumbnails as I can get since I have, you know, no time to prep and edit and post. So that's all I'm doing here. I encourage everybody that's, you know, taking charge of their skincare to take pictures. That's just me showing you that I've been on the phone with mom for an hour at this point. Do y'all know we were on the phone for three hours? I just want y'all to know. So I'm going to eat some cookies tonight. It's that time of the month. I deserve it. It's holiday season. We got the snowman Oreos and then the inside, the cream is red, ah! but it still tastes like the white cream. Love it. So I ate those. 
I'm pretty sure right now I'm eating it. That's why this is this dead moment right here because I'm stuffing my face with an Oreo. Okay, welcome back, Arnell. We're gonna bake the Christmas tree Pillsbury sugar cookies. Now, why I ended up putting out 12 cookies, I don't know, because it was definitely for me, myself, and I. And I know good and well I was not gonna eat 12 cookies on top of the Oreos that I was already snacking on in this moment. It's like, girl. But I mean, it, it was cute for the video, you know? Like three wouldn't have looked cute on camera. Beautiful, you see? So we're just gonna line them up all cute, see, you know? Give y'all some aesthetic views. At least try to. Put it in the stove, that's the stove view. Mm hmm gonna be so good. And look at that, just like that, they're all done in two seconds. The beauty of editing. The light went off because we have it on that automatic timer, you know? So you just gotta walk past it, that motion, whatever light. Mm-hmm. Tell me how cute my Skims pajamas are, y'all. Ah, they're so cute. And that's just the cookies. Mm-hmm. All nine of them. I don't know why I was saying 12. This is my sad failure at B-roll. I've been failing with B-roll this whole video, y'all. <laughs> You can see the red dot of the record button in this B-roll. It's like, girl, look at it, look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're such an amateur. Amateur. That's okay though, because this video was about a night routine and we got the views, we got the, we got the scenes for the night routine. So y'all ain't about to judge me because of my horrible B-roll abilities. Just throw it away, Arnell. What is this? What? what? Not you doing hydraulics, <laughs> girl. <laughs> but have a good night, beautiful. I'm gonna go and eat these cookies, girl. I'll see you tomorrow for Christmas. Enjoy your Christmas Eve. Good night. It's Christmas time.